Have you been looking for a magnifier app for your phone? Well, stop, and let me tell you about this great app that I just found. Hi everyone, it's Carrie with Accessible Life, and today I wanted to tell you about an app that I just found called Visor Low Vision Magnifier. If you guys are anything like me, you've probably downloaded a whole bunch of different magnifier apps and they're just not that great. Maybe they have ads or the buttons are too small or they don't have filters or, or something else is wrong with them. And then you just end up going back to the default camera on your phone because you get frustrated and tired of looking for a good magnifier app. Well, I got so excited when I found Visor Low Vision Magnifier and it's available for Android and iOS devices. So let me guys show you what it looks like and how it works. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and open the Play Store and go to the search field at top and type in Visor Low Vision and tap Enter. And it should be the first one. Um, it should say Visor Low Vision Magnifier. So let's tap on that and tap on the install button and the accept button to accept all the permissions. Wait for it to download and install and now we can hit open. So as soon as we open it, we're going to have this advertisement for the stand. So let's just tap on the exit button. And right here I have a cookbook that we can test out the magnifier with. So there are four main buttons on the right side of the screen. The first one is a blue button and that cycles through the different color filter options that the magnifier has. It has black on white, white on black, blue on yellow, yellow on blue, and color. The next button down is the magnifier level. So if you tap it, it will cycle through all the different magnification levels it has. And the button to the left of that is a little pause button, so it's a freeze button, so if you tap it, it will take a temporary picture. And you can press the play button to go back, or you can press the camera button to save the image to your phone, or you can press the blue button to change the filter. So let's go ahead and press that play button to go back to the magnifier. So that last button on the bottom is a red button and that turns on and off the flash on your phone. I suggest that you try the light on and off to see which one is better for the material that you are reading. Another great feature that this app has is the ability to switch between autofocus and manual focus. So there are times where you do want autofocus, but there are also times where the autofocus, when you are moving back and forth, trying to read a portion of text, it's going to get very confused and it will keep trying to focus or it'll just get stuck not being in focus. So I usually like to keep the focus manual. So what you can do in this app is tap and hold anywhere on the screen that isn't a button and it will toggle between autofocus and manual focus. And how this works is Let's magnify it a little bit and you can just tap on the screen and it will focus. So if I move my hand closer to the page and it gets blurry like this, all you have to do is tap on the screen and it'll be focused. It's also great to have these different color filters and a lot of different apps actually do not have this feature or their features are inverted um, colors so it's not as much contrast as this magnifier offers and I really love that because I personally love the white on black. Now I will say that sometimes it creates like this um, reflection in the middle when you especially when you have that light on so you just need to test out if it's better or worse with the light now I usually like the light even though it causes a little shadow and what I do is I actually just angle my phone a little bit and I actually magnify it 
and then that way I don't have to deal with the shadow and I usually need it pretty big anyway so when once you're magnified this much you don't even notice the shadow if you do that without the light it does tend to haze out a little bit and blur so the light really does help the magnifier another great thing about this app is that you can actually use the magnification that it has along with the triple taps if I use the triple tap I can make it even bigger than the app allows which is really good when you have maybe a tablet or really need a larger size. Thanks everybody for watching and make sure to hit that like button and comment down below and let me know what you think about this app. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos to help you guys live a more accessible life.